Hi, we are joined uh, by Chris Chapman from GlucarX, the sponsor of the Academy and the East Bank. Thanks for joining us, Chris. What are we doing today? Well, today, Matt, we thought it's the opportunity to come down and give you an MOT, if that's okay. Yeah, brilliant. So today what we're going to do is I brought a handful of products that we've got ready available. We're going to do your vitamin D test. Yep. Now, at the moment, anyone that's been on Google, been on the news, they've heard a lot about vitamin D. Uh, the Prime Minister's been talking about it this week. Backdrop of COVID, what they've seen is people are clinically deficient in vitamin D. Vitamin D has a whole raft of conditions from lack of energy, poor mood, bad mood, depression, loss of hair, weight, weight yeah. loss. So there's a few bits and pieces. So we're going to do a vitamin D test today. We're going to start with this chappy. Brilliant. Then 15 minutes later, we're going to know what your results are. Fantastic. We're then going to go on and do your blood glucose. We're going to do your blood pressure. We're going to do your oxygen saturation levels. And we're going to work out your BMI. Brilliant. Ready to go? I'm ready to go. Okay. So this is brand new tech. This is the first interview that we've done with this. This is the world's first at home vitamin D testing kit. So this doesn't exist anywhere else. You're the first person to have it. Because we're using blood, I'm going to do it for you. I'll get some gloves on. It doesn't hurt. <laughs> I promise it doesn't hurt. Okay. So the test takes 15 minutes. And what's unique about it is you can do this at home. Yeah. So you don't need to go to a doctor, you don't need to go to a pharmacist. All you need to do is get this home test kit. And once you've got it, you use your smartphone to actually get the result. So you have the result there and then. Once you know what your vitamin D level is, so that little cassette that, you can then do something about it. Now, are you taking any supplements or anything? No. Nothing no. at all. Are you taking any medication? No, no. None at all. Which finger would you like? Doesn't matter. <laughs> okay, so what we're going to do, this is a single use lancet. It's going to prick your finger, and I'm going to take the blood sample and put it into here. Then going to add it to buffer solution. We're going to then put it onto the cassette. Yep. And then using a smartphone, here's one we prepared earlier. Go onto the app. Prepare a test. So there's the test ready to go. Materials all at room temperature. Okay. Right. So with the app, it talks you through, so you don't need to worry about reading the instructions. So the first thing we're going to do, take the alcohol swab, and we're just going to clean the outside of the area, just like they would do. That painless so far? So far. That's, <laughs> yeah, so good. that's the easy bit. Okay, so there. I've completed that step. And then as you move on, it gives you a little reference. Yeah. So you can check just to see where you're up to. Great. So we've taken the safety off the safety lancer, side of the finger. How was that? Easy. Easy. Yeah. Didn't, it? Didn't hurt. Now we could take the key computer chip and gonna fill that all the way to the top. Okay, so we've taken that, that goes into the buffer solution, click, so you're yeah. adding the blood to the buffer. Shake that so that mixes. Here's a plaster for you. Thank you very much. And then we continue on the app. It tells us to mix this. And this is when it gets really clever. Top of that, there's a little cap. We untwist that cap so that exposes it. What we can do now is drop four blood droplets, two, three, four, into the sample. Continue on that. Continue on that. And now we're caught up to where we are. So then the smartphone will then start our countdown. 
Right. So it counts down for 15 minutes. What's happened is the blood sample that we just taken from yourself, buffer solution, it's moving yeah. away through the cassette, moved all that. See how it's starting to move up there now? Yeah. Okay. In 15 minutes' time, we'll have a line using that QR code and the OCR on the phone, and it works on all iPhones and majority of Androids in the market now. We can then scan that QR code and it looks at the line and then gives us a definitive quantitative result of what your vitamin D level is. So looking at that, I yep. can tell you what strength of vitamin D you need to take. Fantastic. Okay, so that was the first one. Very famous? That was the easy one. That was the easy one, okay. Now, have you eaten anything today? Um, had some breakfast at half eight. Okay, what did you have? Uh, some scrambled eggs. Scrambled eggs. Did you wash it down with Monster? No, the orange juice. Orange juice. And tea, coffee today? No, just water. Just water, all day? All day, yeah. Okay. So what we're going to do now is we're going to do a blood glucose test. So again, very, very small sample. All we're going to do is, that's the testing strip in, checks to see if the testing strip's been used previously. Yeah. Unfortunately, you're going to need to have a small sample of blood. No. Okay. So, blood glucose test, really small sample of blood. 0.5 microliters. Within five seconds, it's going to give us an indication of what your blood, what your blood glucose is as of right now. So take the testing strip to that blood sample. Capillary action takes that blood sample. Five second countdown. Okay, look at that. 4.1. 4.1. Happy with that? Is that good? That is really good. So. For someone with uh, type 2 diabetes or pre-diabetic, you'd expect there to be between 4 and 7. Yeah. So the fact that you've not eaten since breakfast, you're the lower end of that scale. Yeah. So you are slap bang. 4 and 7 is complete, completely healthy. Oh, you'd expect to be there. Yeah. What I'd say is we can do something quite special now. We can let you try one of these. Because okay. you've not had anything since breakfast. Yeah. We'll take one of these and then we're going to test you again. This is our um, glucose solution. Okay. So when people with diabetes are having a hypo, they need to get their sugar level up really, really quickly. Yeah. If you try and consume that, tell me what you think, honestly, of the taste. Well, it's quite nice. That's quite nice. <laughs> you want my own? Yeah? <laughs> Would you like one? Yeah, I yeah, thought so. Oh, it is nice. So what this is, is when you're having a hypo, a hypo is when you have really low blood sugar. So your blood sugar is dropped to a level that you need to rapidly increase it. Yeah. The way to rapidly increase it is you can have some Lucozade, mm -hmm. but unfortunately with the sugar tax now, a lot of the manufacturers have actually changed mm -hmm. the way that they make their drinks now. So you need to take on carbohydrates and you need to take on glucose really quickly. Yeah. Would you have that again? Oh yeah. 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 Would you have that's that again? Really nice. That's really nice, isn't it? Tastes like a cocktail. No, it does. <laughs> so what we've got is we've got some football players that utilise this just because when you've seen the Lucas Aid and you see them at half time yeah. and having that, they're using this. Purely because this is giving you um, 15 grams of carbohydrates. Yeah. Bang, where you need it. Within five minutes, we're going to test you again if that's all right. Okay. Yeah. And we're going to see an increase. So we're at 4.1. Yeah. 4.1 for you is completely fine. I'm quietly confident that you've not got diabetes at the moment, <laughs> okay? So, what we're now going to do is we're going to look at your oxygen saturation levels. Yep. So your oxygen saturation levels is what is your percentage of oxygen that you've got at the moment? You've got two lungs? Yeah. Breathing healthily. Yeah. Okay. So as you take in, breathe in, it then comes out. What we're looking at is how much oxygen that you've got flowing around your system. Okay. Anything above 94, 95% completely Perfect. Yeah. If you've got 98, 99%, you're obviously a super fit human being, 100%, yeah. you're loving life. If it's anything below that, you've either done some exercise, you're a little bit unfit, or you could have the early onset of asthma or some sort of respiratory illness. Uh -huh. At the moment, everyone's heard of COVID. Yeah. Yeah. So this is just an early indication. So one of the first things they'll do whenever an ambulance comes to pick you up is they'll stick one of these in your finger while they're starting to fill out the paperwork. This top one will tell you what your oxygen saturation level is. The bottom one is going to tell what your pulse rate is at the moment. Yeah. And obviously your pulse is going to be high because sit next to me. Yeah, look at that. It's going straight up. <laughs> okay, so your oxygen saturation level is 97%. Yeah. So 100% is the best. Yeah. There is no such thing as 110%. You can't do okay. it. It's only 100. Yeah. So 99, 90, oh, 98. You're doing really well. You took a big end, take a breath there. Yeah. So 
Perfect. So you've got no respiratory problem, you've got yep. nothing at all, your pulse resting, sitting down, 72. Might need to go to the gym a little bit. Right. But yeah. that's good stuff. Happy yeah. with that? Happy with that. So right. what would be a bad rate? What would be a bad rate is if you you've probably not seen it, but if you imagine if you walk up the stairs and you start to be out of breath, yeah. that's showing you that there's something wrong. Because yeah. walking up 13 steps shouldn't make you out of breath, you shouldn't be wheezing. So what if you're seeing say 89s, anything lower than that, what that's showing you is your body's not getting enough oxygen. Yeah. So just the normal um, respiratory is you breathe in you breathe out, whether it's through your mouth or nose, what you're doing is you're taking in air, yes. there's air around us, you're taking the oxygen component out of the air, that's yes. what's going around your blood cells, red blood cells, they carry the oxygen. Going around to the organs, going around. What you're then exhaling is the carbon dioxide, that's the bit that you don't want. If that's showing you that you've got that much oxygen flowing around your system from the end of your capillaries, yeah. you're fine. If you're seeing the 80s, the 70s, even the 60s, that's when you start to see where you need to start taking some oxygen on in a bottle form just to help you. Yeah. So you've got something wrong with your lungs that they're not working accordingly. So this is just a nice, quick, easy indication. Yeah. And even with fitness, if you want to start doing some fitness and you want to go, okay, I've just run a mile and a half. I know that it's taken me this long, but what's my recovery like? How long does it take me from I'm panting, I can't breathe to getting back to normal? And then you time that period of time. So that shows you how your level of fitness improves over time. Your heart rate, it's my heart rate, I know my resting heart rate is X. Yeah. It's gone all the way up there because I've done some really, really heavy activity, whether it's running or hopefully playing some decent football. Yeah. How long does it take me? So what you'll see is we're, is we're going to look at your blood pressure. So this is an early indication of hypertension. Hypertension is where you have got issues with, could be stress related, could be diet, or this could just be telling us that we need to look at something. So what you need to do is just rest, okay, breathe normally. And when this is testing, don't talk. Okay. We're gonna do it three times, yep. and then we're gonna take the average. Really? Okay. So just think of a nice, where's your favorite holiday? Turkey. Turkey. Beach? Yep. Sangria? Cider. Cider, <laughs> yeah. what are you gonna eat with that? Oh, this is a tough one. I don't know, it's gonna be a burger and chips, but very simple. Okay, so all right, think about <laughs> that, relax. Yep. Complete zen-like. So that's done is the cuff's down inflated. It's now measuring what's your blood pressure, what's happening with you. Okay. You've gone to your favourite place, you're in Turkey now, you're eating your burger, you're on your third cider. Okay. That's giving me your systolic and it's giving me your diastolic and it's giving me your pulse. Okay. Your pulse again is high, it must be because you're near me, but your blood pressure. Okay, we'll talk about that in a minute. Neither should they. Okay, let's go <laughs> not that quick. Let's go for another <laughs> two. The reason we do three is we take an average. So we take those three results. People have something called white coat syndrome, that their results suddenly become higher when they know about it. People that don't test have always have low blood pressure because they never test. You got any hypertension in the family? Now on that fourth side on that second burger. Sunset's just coming on now. You've got mild sunburn. Okay, interestingly, the pulse has now gone down, which is good. All right, ready for three for three? Ready. Ready, okay. And then just as that finishes, we'll be ready to do our vitamin D test.
So the good news, Matt, is you've got no form of hypertension at all with a tap. Oh, brilliant. You're absolutely fine. Pulse is fine. Your blood glucose is fine. Your oxygen saturation level is fine. You're loving the uh, <laughs> glucose gel. And we should now, we've got five seconds to go. Yeah, oh, oh, perfect oh. time. Okay. And all the things we haven't edited this. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so what we do now is we come around. We've got a two minute window <laughs> to scan this test. And all we're doing is lining the window from that yep. onto this. Now, I'm just gonna lift this up. Now, we're going to have a chat about this later. Yeah. Okay. Because zero is as low as you can go. Yeah. And you're not much higher than that. Okay. And that's out of how much? Okay. So the way vitamin D works is vitamin D is called the sunshine vitamin. You get the majority of it from the sun. Yeah. You can get it from foods, um, but what most people need to take is supplements. So you've heard about uh, vitamin D supplements, yeah. so you can from. There's a lot about it in the media at the moment. You just have to look on the news and you'll see it. So what does this mean to you? At the moment, we can now be something about this. Yeah. Okay. So I can't treat with diabetes because you haven't got it. <laughs> yeah. Can't treat with hypertension and you've got no respiratory. But this is low. Yeah. This is low enough for me to get serious. There's no more joking now because okay. it's that serious. Nothing to worry about because yeah. now we know about it. So what we need to do is, we now need to start you on a course of vitamin D. Okay. So we'll give you 20,000 a year. Yeah. And you'll take that one tablet, tiny little thing, once a week for 14 weeks. At the end of that 14 weeks, what you'll see is, you'll see your level, because we're taking 20,000 international units, it will take your level from 10 and it'll start to go up. Yeah. Okay. We could do 400, it's just the size of the strength. It would take you such a long, protracted period of time for you to get where you need to be. We need you to go from where you are there yeah. up to over here in this bit. That's the sweet spot, that's the optimal. So we need to pretty much add another 20 onto that just to get you to the bottom side of that. So realistically, we need probably about 30 to get you there, okay? My aim with you, if you're okay with that, is yeah. we'll get you there by what we now. We'll get you there by April. Fantastic. By April, we'll retest you, yeah. come back to the club, and guarantee you we'll be in there. Fantastic. The only thing we need from you is to be compliant. That's no, fine. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So we're going to give you 20,000 IU a day. No, we're not. Give you 20,000 IU a week. Yeah. Take one a week for 14 weeks. We're then going to drop you down to a lower strength, and then what you do is you start taking that daily. Every day, you just pop on first in the morning, last in the night, makes no difference. You take that. At the end of the six months, we'll then retest you, and guarantee you'll be optimal. What you're going to notice is the first couple of days, like, I don't feel anything different. What you'll start to feel is you start to feel different. You'll start to feel like you've got more energy. You won't feel as tired. You won't yeah. feel as lethargic. You'll actually have that buzz about you. will have that glow about you. you think, I can do this. And you'll be like, I don't understand what it is. I can guarantee you it's that. Vitamin D. Vitamin D. Fantastic. All right.